Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My last video that I uploaded was all about like raising your energy and the ways that you can kind of do so. And it kind of, you know, it had quite a good response. I had lovely messages sent from that and stuff. So I kind of wanted to do another video similar to that because it's, it's basically where I'm at at the moment and it's something that I'm really, really passionate about and I kind of want to share with people. So I thought I would do another video like that. And um, today's video is going to be about mindset and how powerful your mind truly is. If your mindset isn't there right now and you can't be bothered to do anything and you're just living day to day into that robotic mindset, like I have done it. I've done it for the past two years that I was working in retail when I was constantly saying, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna make YouTube videos, I wanna make YouTube videos, I wanna make content and not fucking doing it because my focus was elsewhere because it just, it, it is easy. It's so easy to go into your day to day and allow that to, to, to just take all your time up because it is hard and it is draining and then you come home and you can't be bothered to do anything. So I totally get it. My first tip to changing your mindset is to try things, just try it. Because when you, it will just trigger a click basically. Like when you try something, say for example, you have always wanted to have a YouTube channel and you've always wanted to do, start YouTube and make videos. Just make a video. Don't even, you don't even have to upload it, but just make it and see how it makes you feel. Because if you've enjoyed it, you're gonna wanna do it again because it's fun. Um, if you've always wanted to, I don't know, learn an instrument, just learn one. Just just pick it up and just try and see if you enjoy it and see if you have fun. Like, just do what you want to do. Just just try it, and it will it will automatically just shift your mind because you'll become passionate about it and you'll want to do it. And when you keep wanting to do it, the opinions of other people will just fade away because you're enjoying yourself. So it doesn't really matter what other people say. And if you still care about what other people say, keep it private until you are so confident and so comfortable doing that, that people, realistically, what people are gonna say is, oh, oh shit, you're really good at that. Or, oh shit, you can play that, you can play the guitar really well. Or this video is really great. Like, I don't know, like whatever it is that you kind of wanna, you wanna do, you wanna change that mindset to, like, just, just do that. I also find another tip that really helps in terms of your mindset is um, with positivity. And I know it's very easy to say, like, just be positive. Like, that is an easy thing to say. But positivity, like, be positive around the pe with the people around you as well. Like, when you're being positive towards other people, I don't know, it, for me personally, it puts me in a good mood. Um, when I'm like, hey, like your makeup looks great if I really like someone's makeup or if I'm asking where someone's dress is from because I really like it or if it's like someone's made a really cool video that I really enjoyed watching and I can leave that comment there or whatever it is, like just spreading that positivity and allowing other people to know that I've actually really enjoyed what they've put out, the creativity that they've put out or, you know, the kind of look that they've just done. like. That, for one, I know will make their day nicer, but it also makes me, puts me in a good mood because I'm seeing the positive rather than the negative. So another thing that you can do in terms of positivity and trying to get that mindset into play is a gratitude list. And I mentioned that in my raising your vibrations, if vibrations, raising your energy level, like gratitude lists are so good. Just because if you've had a really shit day as well, like, it's good to just think about things that you're grateful for because even when you're a shit day, you're having a shit day and you can literally joke and be like, I'm grateful for nothing. Like that's all well and good, but you woke up in the morning. So that's one gratitude. I'm grateful that I woke up. I'm grateful that I'm actually alive. I'm grateful that I can breathe. I'm grateful that I got out of bed this morning. Like whatever it is, just, just always write a gratitude list. And um, I would say even if you can, like have like a little either a little section in your notes maybe that you can have as like gratitude so you can always look back on them um or if you have like a little notepad that you can just just keep as like your gratitude list and just keep it very positive because it is all about training your mind like your mindset is a tr is a skill it's it, it's a skill that you need to train and you need to constantly work at so 
It's all about, again, finding that passion that really drives you and makes you want to just continue to be a better person. And then also just like finding the positivity and the positive things that you're grateful for in your everyday that will really drive you as well. And um, yeah, just kind of like keep at it and try things that will work for you. So for me, I listen to like motivational speakers. I'm a very visual person, so I like to watch things. So that's why I watch motivational speakers and I listen to them as well. Um, I listen to audiobooks that help me as well, but I definitely find that finding your passion and for me, like I just want to help people and help people have a better lifestyle and help people, you know, um, grow as individuals and just coach people in that aspect every day i want to try and make sure that that is implemented in my day every day i want to make sure that i'm doing something that's going to help another person that's going to help someone grow that's going to help someone change their life or whatever it is like i try and do that every day so when you find your passion and the thing that you really love make sure you're doing it at least you know every day like even if it is just for five minutes it's better than no minutes so just keep working at it and keep reminding yourself of your goal like keep reminding yourself of what it is that you want to do like your why like what your passion is and like what you want to achieve from that and that will really set your mind to like that i need to keep doing this i need to keep trying i need to keep going like that needs to do it will set your mind apart and will really, 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 really bring you what you want. So your mind really is a powerful thing and like the law of attraction is an actual, like it's, a, it's an actual thing. Most people that are successful in life will all valve to the law of attraction and say how that literally is the reason that they are successful. So practice that, practice the law of attraction, but don't just practice the law of attraction with just thoughts and just being like, I wish this, I want that. Like you need to see it and feel it and breathe it. And then you need to wake up and live that day. Like live it, like it's not just about dreaming, it's about action, about doing. So find your passion by trying new things, try the things that you want to do. If you've ever literally thought about, I don't, I literally have no idea, like any, it could be anything. If you ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, just bloody do it, just start it. And then you will find that passion, find your passion and that will drive you to um, that insane mindset. And yeah, make sure that you spend time in, in your why as well. Like what it is that you wanna to bring to the table, basically to the table of life. <laughs> what it is that you wanna to bring to the table and, and that will give you your passion, that will give you your why and your drive. And that's something that you can then always reflect on every single night. That's what I personally do. I like to reflect on my why, my mission, every night to just kind of remind myself as to what it is I'm doing and why I'm doing it because you know you're going to get days that's hard you're going to get days where you're going to question yourself and if you have a strong why and you you know exactly what it is you're doing and why you're doing it then that will just remind you and put you back on the path that you need to be so yeah I hope you really enjoyed this video I am hoping to film another video um a bit more about the witchcraft side because I have neglected it a little bit so I need to get a video out for you guys on that and just update you with that um but yeah I hope you are liking these sort of more coachy sort of motivational um kind of videos with like mindset and like yeah but they are more lifestyle-y which is what I wanted to do so I hope you guys are also enjoying it and it is helping you guys as well um yeah leave a comment and a like and subscribe to the channel because that really really helps me out and I will see you in the next one thanks bye